What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and we're about to start on Salvation at the Chapel. Um, what was it, Rhea gave us like a task to be on lookout for some mysterious activity over at the Old Chapel. So, that's uh, that's what we plan to do. Captain? Captain? Where are you? Hey Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you then. You guess. Back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain, thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. Uh, yeah, where did they come from? It's odd. Just before they appeared, Someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters. Yeah, it sounds like a summoning or something. Act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold. Better not die on us, then. I'll meet you there. They always do that in games, movies, shows. When someone needs to tell you something extremely important and like a, an intense battle occurs, they always end up dying. So, let's look at the units. Uh, trying to see if I'm happy with this group. I honestly would rather have you in instead. Um, I also, I ended up recruiting Dorothea. I made her a dancer too. There was uh, some ball that you have to do and that's how you get her. You just have to like progress through the story. So she's a dancer for support. She gives us uh, extra, extra movement uh, to perform. And honestly, I think Ash has been kind of useless lately. So I'm gonna just put her in so you guys can kind of see the dancer in action. Um, I need to assign, I need to assign a, what was it, the, the peeps to him. Just so they can get like these levels. Yeah, cause I think I have, uh, I have to have this guy linked to my character. Um, oh yeah, new thing too is uh, I made Ingrid a Falcon Knight. So that's a master class. So I think now she's only weak to there just really like magic the arrows. Here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. So Help now me. it's just, I need Please to stare. farm some, um... <laughs> Somebody! Help me! I need to farm some Master Stupid Seals. Beast. I gotta see Don't how to get those so here. I can progress everybody else. Okay, so... We have all these freaking monsters. But it looks like there's what three students we need to save so they're kind of like forcing me to split my group up into three i don't know we'll just charge it first and see how the charging goes <laughs> okay I level like 29 beast there's a stone or something on its forehead is that what we're looking for monica i like how she's the only one attacking that side that is not how this should be going 
That's my cue. And I want him to move an extra but. turn. Well. Mm, Any way to knock that shield all the way down? Ready. Doesn't look like it. Nice try. Uh, we'll keep you there. Almost messed that one up, guys. doing over here Too slow. Ooh, got that crit nice form thank you yeah I'll help your friend that can't get away <laughs> I think now we can just all charge again Dude, might die. <laughs> oh, never mind. Someone healed her up. It probably was Mercedes. Stay focused. Here goes. Well done. Here we go. A block. Yeah. I'll cut through. Oh man, I wish. Uh, I'm on it. How far up can she move? She can move right there. stand on. Oh, perfect time to have had an archer on the team, I guess. I'll crush them all. What should I do? kind of didn't help. <laughs> Ooh, 138 on that crit. What? Keep it up. Sorry. That was <gasps> You saved me. Oh man, I got Thank Felix you. all the way back here by himself. Umbral steel, that comes in clutch. The umbral steel you use to um, help repair those um, hero relics. And I believe I got 
two more like pretty good weapons from doing the paralog quest um you get like a staff and then you also got <sighs> i want to say trace of evidence to be found in the chapel this uh, must have something to lamps? do with Remire. perhaps wait what you doing monica huh? another student run along now thanks for all your help sir <laughs> Uh oh. Told you guys. Told you he was gonna die. A pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, dog? Ooh, my guy about to snap. Divine pulse. Yeah. All your help, sir. Still stabbing the guy, right? Wow. <laughs> well, we got like hella times to do what divine you pulse. Here? You must survive. Merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Who are you, bro? <laughs> Don't drop your sword. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Thank you. Divine Pulse again. Kid. This time we'll just, I don't know, tell him to not let that girl do that thing again. <laughs> just be like, bro, defend yourself. Of course it would rain. Of course. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? Oh, my dad died. The heck? <laughs> If Duh. turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Our enemies will pay. Agreed. <laughs> we cannot let the wicked ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Maybe. Your father's diary. Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon. Year 1159. Day 20 of the horsebow moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And mm. still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the horsebow moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. <laughs> Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day eight of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. 
I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Uh -oh. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but... Throw back to the beginning I when they said he disappeared during I've the done. Great Fire. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. There you are. Lady Rhea is looking for you, Professor. And after your audience, why don't you join me at the dining hall? You haven't eaten since... since it happened, have you? Forgive me. I suppose it's too soon to try and coax you back into the normal swing of things. As sure is, buddy. what happened to Gerald, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything to stop it. Stay here until you've found some peace. I'll cover for you with Lady Rhea and everyone else. We'll be waiting for you whenever you're ready to return to us. I don't believe it's a sign of strength to just keep moving forward no matter what. Taking the time to grieve for those we've lost. There's strength in that too. That's what I think anyway. That said, it's also important to remember that no matter how sad you are, eventually your tears will dry up. That's when you have to figure out what it is you're living for. Then you can cling to that with all your might and start moving forward again. Four years ago in Dusker, I experienced the same pain you're feeling now. My father was the strongest man I knew. Someone I loved and admired deeply. That day, he was killed before my eyes. His head severed clean off. My stepmother, the kindest person I had ever known, left me behind and disappeared into the infernal flames. Everyone so his dad was beheaded and his mom was burned alive. My family and my closest friends. I couldn't save any of them. Not a single one. Now... The burden of the work they left behind falls on me. I must ensure they have no regrets. That's my duty as the sole survivor of the tragedy. It's a heavy burden, but accepting it gave me the strength to pick myself up off the ground and start moving again. Start living again. Gerald is gone. So what will you do now, Professor? What must you do? Look deep in your heart. And I'm certain you'll find the answer there. Indelible and inescapable. <sighs> I've probably bothered you enough for today. But I have just one more thought to leave you with. Even now, Sedith is gathering the knights to begin a full-scale search for the enemy. It may not be right away, but before long they will find their trail. No matter what happens or what anyone may say, know that I plan to stand by you, Professor. Through anything until the bitter end. Hmm. Well, interesting. Did you search deep within yourself as he suggested? And did you find yourself some answers? This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. We can't oh, just take it with us. But I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Are you, are you not going to tell me? <laughs> Come on. You can't just like end it off like that. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald by was an student. ally of many years. And also a dear friend. It was a long while back. At the time... Gerald was a soldier of the kingdom. He was injured in battle. And I saved him just as he was about to perish. That was our first meeting. After that, he became a knight of Seros. He gave his all in service of the church. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmach. 
their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... Sister? I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. She was your sister? There's your daughter? You must hear immediately. How old are you? A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? Part 1. White Clouds. Guardian Moon. Where the Goddess Dwells. Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the Goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fordland. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings, are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. Let's see what our next mission is, though. That's really what I'm waiting for. What are you doing at this hour? Oh, I know. You are eavesdropping. I must admit that I approve. Professor, we must remain quiet. I see. The Flame Emperor and Monica. And the mage who rescued Monica. I don't know, but if we keep listening, we might be able to find out. An unexpected chance to hear their plans. Patience, patience. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only Mystery of their bodies? I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need. Do. It's not Monica, it's oh, Of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. And I've got you. Finally. If we don't act now, we'll miss our chance. Hmm. He must have lost Even if someone has right there, huh? us, there is nothing they can do. There have always been rats in the walls, and there always will be. Okay. 
Okay, everybody just has teleportation magic. Hmm. No. The dagger. Is that the dagger he gave uh, Edelgard as a child? It. No, never mind. It couldn't possibly be so. Professor, those are the ones we must destroy. They're the bastards who killed my family and Gerald. For now, let's return to the monastery and regroup. As for the Flame Emperor's dagger, I'll hold on to it for the time being. I mean, we still haven't been told a mission yet for the month, I think. Um, but I guess, guys, I'll end it off here. Um, next time in the intro, I'll most likely brief you guys on what the mission is. And if they did tell us what the mission is, I probably just wasn't really paying attention that well. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Hit that notification bell so you can always be alert for when I do my uploads. But with that said, take it easy, guys. Later.